Uh, how is the visibility through the uh, visor? Uh, very well, very good. Uh, we can see the target clearly. The target is centered. Copy. Eighty-eight meters now separating uh, Soyuz from the International Space Station. Closure rate continues to be uh, about a half a meter per second. Everything proceeding on track, perfect alignment reported uh, between the Soyuz's forward docking probe and the docking port at the Earth-facing side of the Zarya module. At a distance of about 50 meters, we should uh, hear confirmation that the core's antenna has been retracted. The target is half a degree up. The final approach is stable and smooth. No issues. Sixty meters now separating Soyuz from its home for the next uh, six months at the International Space Station. You can see in the upper right-hand quadrant of this view from the television camera on the exterior of the Soyuz, uh, the uh, European uh, Columbus Laboratory at the top, and uh, catacorned to that on the opposite side, the Kibo segment, uh, the laboratory and its external uh, experiment platform. So Ichi Noguchi, of course, uh, the second long-duration uh, astronaut from JAXA, the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, who will fly on the International Space Station, Koichi Wakata having been the first. Uh, Noguchi uh, plans to spend quite a bit of time in Kibo performing a number of experiments, checking out the new small fine arm that will be used for uh, intricate uh, external experiment tasks and uh, also uh, continuing uh, to check out all of the various uh, components of the Kibo laboratory uh, that is the hallmark of uh, Japanese space science. Target is within one degree of the center. Uh, the visiting vehicle officer in mission control, Heidi Poppelreiter, informing flight director Ginger Carrick that the uh, core's antenna has now been retracted as we uh, close now to within 35 meters of docking, all systems continuing uh, to be in excellent shape on this automated approach for the Soyuz TMA-17. The crosshairs are aligned. Three crew members in their Soko launch and entry suits uh, are in the center section of the Soyuz vehicle that you see moving in on its final approach for docking. The descent module is where Alec Kotov is seated in the center seat. Soichi Noguchi is board engineer to his left. NASA astronaut T.J. Creamer to Kotov's right. Thanks. Uh, we can see better now. And you can see uh, at the center of this uh, crosshair camera view the uh, docking port on the Nader or Earth facing side of the Zarya module. The uh, U.S. segment of the International Space Station in the upper right hand quadrant. In the lower left hand quadrant, uh, the rest of the Russian segment of the International Space Station, including the progress. Uh, 35 cargo craft uh, in the lower left-hand corner of your screen uh, that is docked at the moment to the pier's docking compartment. Oleg, can you see the target? Uh, once again? Can you see the target?
Yes, I can see the crosshairs and they're aligned. Uh, we're a little to the left, less than the width of the crosshairs. Everything is good then. Yeah, everything is okay. The crosshairs are almost aligned. The target uh, fluctuates about a degree off center. Soyuz, uh, about uh, 25 meters away from docking to the International Space Station. Target. You will see uh, the One. automated rendezvous system on the Soyuz uh, automatically correct itself uh, to place uh, the docking target of the Zarya module uh, precisely in the middle of the crosshairs. You're seeing this view from the camera um, on the exterior of the Soyuz vehicle. We have moved into uh, an orbital sunset just off the east coast of Brazil. Both spacecraft are flying 220 miles above the Earth, moving from southwest to northeast. Uh, I can see the target clearly. It's centered, and the crosshairs are aligned. Copy. Pulsars, can you confirm the activation of the searchlight? Yes, 